Open heavens on the go. Sunday, May 5th, 2024. Topic, Protocol Breaker. Memory verse, Ezekiel 21, 27. I will overturn, overturn, overturn it. And it shall be no more until he come whose right it is. And I will give it him. Bible reading. Matthew 15, 22 to 28. And behold, a woman of Canaan came out of the same coasts and cried unto him, saying, have mercy on me, O Lord, thou son of David. My daughter is grievously vexed with a devil. But he answered her not a word. And his disciples came and besought him, saying, Send her away, for she crieth after us. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Then came she and worshipped him, saying, Lord, help me. But he answered and said, It is not meet to take the children's bread and to cast it to dogs. And she said, Truth, Lord, yet the dogs eat of the crumbs which fall from their master's table. Then Jesus answered and said unto her, O woman, great is thy faith. Be it unto thee even as thou wilt. And her daughter was made whole from that very hour. The message. God broke protocols when Solomon became king in 1 Kings 1, as he was not the heir apparent. Adonijah strongly believed that he was the rightful heir to the throne, and he even attempted to coronate himself while David was still alive. In spite of Adonijah's actions and all other factors that seemed to disqualify Solomon, God moved in the latter's favor and ensured that he was crowned king. Some years ago, one of my sons came to me and said, Daddy, I need a new job and I have been invited for an interview. I applied for the deputy managing director position and I will be going for the interview soon. I was about to pray for him when he said, No, don't pray. Just say a word. So, I said, The interview will go well. He said, Amen, and left. He returned the following day excited. He said, Daddy, when I got to the interview, they directed me to the boardroom and asked me only three questions. What is your name? What post have you applied for? And when can you start? I told them I will start tomorrow. I congratulated him and he said, Daddy, speak another word. I said, the almighty God who has given you the job will promote you rapidly. The following day, he returned trembling. He said, Daddy, I got to my new workplace and the same people that interviewed me said that after I left, the managing director resigned. They asked if I was ready to become the new managing director and I said yes. I congratulated him again and he said, Daddy, speak another word. So I said, the God who has begun a good work in you will perfect it. Believe it or not, the following day, he was back. This time, he was almost speechless. He said, Daddy, I got to my workplace and I was told that they discovered that the former managing director resigned because their competitor offered him double the salary they were paying him and since they didn't want me to leave, 
they had doubled my salary. I congratulated him again and he said, Daddy, speak another word. This time, I said jokingly, Do you want to take over the company from the owners? My God does not need to follow protocols when he wants to promote his children. Psalm 1153 says that he does as he pleases. I pray for you today that God will break all protocols and take you to the very top in Jesus' name. Prayer point. Father, break any protocol that needs to be broken and bless me in Jesus' name. Father, break any protocol that needs to be broken and bless me in Jesus' name. Bible reading in one year. First Chronicles 24 to 26. Him for today, there shall be showers of blessing. The Open Heavens is written by Pastor E. A. Adeboe, the General Overseer of the Redeemed Christian Church of God. God bless you.